Okay, we are live. Yeah. Whew. Sorry, we just had a little bit of a little bit of a mishap. Ooh. I think that was some thunder. Okay, I'm just going to be easing in to the live today. I just got back from visiting some family down south. Um, and, oh man, the rain is insane. It's been raining all day today. Um, yeah, so I just got done with... I just got back from visiting family. I had a wonderful time. I often question myself why I live in Chicago and not down there. Um, so, last time we did edge work. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing that. Um, I've got these sides to do and then I've got the tops of the gussets to do so I figure we can just do that and uh, I'm not going to go for super long it's already almost 5 30 um, I think I'm going to go for about 30 minutes I got a birthday dinner I'm going to and I just kind of want to take it easy today um, I am still waiting on my on more blue thread to come in the mail and as soon as that comes I, I, I ordered it I'm just waiting for them to ship it um, as soon as that arrives I'll be able to finish this bag I've got a photography friend that is gonna take pictures of it his photos are freaking amazing um, what's up Daniel Hey, what time is it there? Um, I know I usually do these at night for you. Um, I'm trying a different time, kind of thinking maybe more people will be on at this time in the United States. Um, it's about 5 p.m. for me. Where have I been? I have been on a little kind of mini vacation. I went to visit some family in Alabama um, hadn't seen him in a while, so I went there, and, um, I went there on, t uh, Wednesday, and I just got back last night around 8 o'clock, wow! It's 1.26. Damn, you must be doing a late night. What, are you on the night shift? Or are you doing a late night in the shop? Thank you. Okay. Um... Okay, just now refreshing myself with what I was doing. Grabbing everything I need. I, I'm trying to do like more highly edited reels. I started following this guy who does these incredible reels on Instagram and they have literally like at minimum a million views each um, which is pretty incredible and you know I kinda wanna get a piece of that pie <laughs> so I'm using a different phone which actually I guess I could go grab that phone because it's it's my chat phone so same phone 
that I use to read chat for these lives, it has a pro video feature on it where I can actually control um, all the stuff for the video like I would on like a fancy camera. And that means that I can make the lighting look a lot better. Um, and get the look that I want with like the coloring that I want and everything. Um, and then it has good, good um, focus, like manual focus or like locking focus. And it's just got a lot more control for me than my iPhone. And so I have been doing that and I'm very, very curious It was a hard day. Oh, trust me, I've had my my share of hard days. Okay, I'm gonna pull up. Hopefully I can give you a little, a little bit of refuge here. Let you just hang out. Okay. For now, good picture, nice video picture and sound, good. But yeah, so this is the phone that I actually use for my video. We are working on the same briefcase. Um, we are just... Um, we're doing the rest of the edges. I'm kind of easing back into doing the live because I haven't done them for a week. Um, but I just want to show you the kinds of shots I can get with this camera. I don't know if you can... Look at how nice and clean that looks. So I would never be able to get that with with the iPhone. It's I can only get this nice, like really really clean cut with the um, with the Samsung. So I'm using it for that as well and trying to make some high high quality um, like short form content for Instagram and for YouTube. And I think I'm going to do those like once a week and then just do the little quick snapshots the rest the rest of the time. Um, I'm really trying to do anything that I can to get more visibility. You know, figuring out all the all the business stuff on your own is can be tough. Um, I have basically done it on my own <laughs> this entire time. I've had mentors here and there and, and people in other businesses that have kind of given me tips and that I can ask questions. I've got friends who who have their own businesses and are entrepreneurs like me. Um, But when it comes down to it, you know, it, what matters is when you're in the, when you're alone in your shop and, you know, what you do when you have no one else around and 
whatever. Like, that's what really matters. Sometimes it gets tough being alone. In business. Okay, so as we did last week, we're just um, we're doing an initial burnish to get all the fibers down, and we're gonna come in with just a rag afterwards for all the other layers. We're just hand sanding. Okay, so that feels pretty good for that initial burnish. So. Now we're just going to use the tokenol, or no, we just used the tokenol. Now we're going to use the other, um, the atom wax. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to position this like how I had it. In the last one, because um, I found that was very it was nice and simple to. Oof! Sorry for that. Sorry for that noise. Okay. So we got our sandpaper. I think you're trying to say if I'm if I'm self -motiv motivated. Yes. Um, in order to to be an entrepreneur, you have to be extremely self motivated. Now, I think that by nature, I'm not like naturally super self motivated. It's something that I had to really learn along the way. It's looking like this is going to give me some problems. Back to the Future is definitely a great movie. <laughs> it's a classic. I haven't seen that in a long time. Definitely a fantastic film. I'm just trying to get this positioned in a way where it's not going to fall down on me because it's wanting to kind of slip out. Okay. There we go. All right. And so, okay, so while I'm 
waiting on uh, on the thread to come in the mail, which, I mean, it might be a few days, it might be a week or two, I don't know. I think we're going to do other small projects. Um, if I can afford to buy the pattern, I want to buy the pattern for a hat and make a wide brim leather hat. I was in Nashville on Wednesday, Nashville, Tennessee, Music City, and I saw this really, really cool hat um, made out of this nice brown pull-up leather, and I really, really, really want it. <laughs> um, and uh, I know that there's a certain guy on Etsy that makes great patterns because I actually bought the first things that I made were patterns that I got from him and I followed his tutorial back like six years ago um, and I've kind of always kept him on my radar because he's got great patterns really easy to follow and he's got patterns for all sorts of things, including a flat cap and a um, and a uh, um, God, what is it? Uh, kind of like cowboy hat type deal. to sand a little more. You haven't had power, is that what you're saying? Like, like you haven't had electricity at your home? Or, or are you saying something else I can't understand? If you're saying something about not having like a, a machine, you don't need one. My first backpack I made just by hand and, and I sewed it by hand. It took me a while, but, but I did it. Uh, I need to hit this area a little bit. to 220 grit and now I'm just going to start sanding in one direction and burnishing in one direction just to get it ultra smooth. Um, we do that because we don't want to pick up any of those fibers and bring them up again because our goal here is to make this like a glassy edge. 
So we want it to feel as much like glass as possible. We achieve that. by only sanding in one direction and you it's gonna be different on every project but you want to find which direction pushes down the fibers versus which direction picks them up and you want to go in the direction that pushes them down feeling pretty good. So now I'm going to ha <laughs> oh, Okay. Your first, yeah. So you just don't have the energy, is what you're saying. You know what? The great thing about, I guess, the great and not so great thing about being creative is that sometimes it's happening, sometimes it's not. Sometimes you have the energy, you have the power to do it, and other times you don't. And when you don't have it, you just got to accept that you don't have it right now. And, you know, find something else to do. Like, watch my life. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you know. If I'm feeling like I don't have the energy for something, I try and get up and and move around. Obviously, I know it's the middle of the night for you, but like I'll go outside and go for a little walk or make myself a coffee and and kind of just sit with no noise or anything and just drink my coffee slowly. Um and that, that tends to help me kind of regain my juices. Okay, we're up to 240. Ha! Huh. Well, thank you for picking my content as your relaxing activity. It's pretty awesome of you.
Hey, Daniel, I don't know what kind of music you have access to in your country, but you should check out Oliver Anthony Music. He just uploaded a new album. It's amazing. It's like folk music. Um, he's a new and upcoming artist. And it's pretty incredible. It's an album that's meant to be just listen to from start to finish without shuffle on or anything. Um, it's, pre it's pretty incredible. I think you'd like it. Hey, 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 Squatch Zone, what's up? I'm happy to be back. We're, uh, we're doing the same thing that we were doing last time. Just, just doing the edges here. I'm um, just kind of easing in into it. Um, I'm not going to go for a super long time today. Uh, in fact, I think we might almost be reaching our limit here. I think I'm going to just do this side. Uh, so I've got a... That's pretty, that's pretty awesome, Squatch. Um, actually, speaking of sheaths, one of my buddies, um, he was a Marine, and one of the guys he, he uh, went on tour with um, makes brass knuckles. And all from... Facebook Marketplace. Huh. Interesting. So this guy makes brass brass knuckles. And he... He was asking... Um, if I made sheaths. And, like, I know how to make one. I just don't... I don't have any fixed blades. Um, I mostly just do... These pocket knives. There's just... I find that's more useful for me. Um, so I don't, I don't tend to usually do fixed blades, and so I haven't really had the opportunity to make a lot of sheaths. But I'm going to be—he's sending me one of his brass knuckles because he says that his customers are always asking about sheaths, and he doesn't make them. And so I am going to make some standard sheaths for his brass knuckles and we're gonna do something he's gonna like promote my shit on his stuff and he's got like 25,000 followers on Instagram which is pretty sick um, so I'm hoping to get some good growth from that at, at least for you know at least for a few weeks do some sheaths and um, I'm doing work on narrowing down my ideal customer um because like so i was i was telling dan earlier that i've kind of had to i have them trace a blade if it's a fold over oh yeah that makes sense um i was uh telling dan that it's you know i've i've had to kind of do this 
whole business and just like figure out all the business stuff on my own. Um, I've had friends and, and, uh, like, and some mentors here and there and whatever. But for the most part, I haven't, you know, I've, I've had to really figure stuff out on my own. Oh, this just, yeah, I've just had to figure out stuff on my own and, um, it's been tough. And, and one of the downsides of that is that, you know, if you don't know really what you're doing, you tend to be kind of all over the place and sometimes you make it unnecessarily hard for yourself by way of just ignorance. And so one of the things that I never did was I never really determined my, my target audience, like really, really detailed, um, who exactly who I'm making this for, or I mean this, not, not specifically this briefcase, but just like my products in general. Um, I never really had heavily detailed profiles of, of who I'm trying to reach. And so I've been following some, um, some worksheets that I found and I'm really narrowing down who, who my ideal customer is and where they are on like, I'm thinking about on Instagram basically. Um, ooh, that feels good. Do a little bit of back and forth. Yeah, we're up to... We're up to now we're going to be doing 240 grit. Um, ooh. Oh man, 15 hours. A guy that collects knives and had a couple of hundred that need sheaths and I produced me a custom knife maker and a custom axe maker. Going to be busy. Damn, nice. I make them without custom things like names and initials that way you can promote to general public yeah so yeah i'm i'm trying to make it easier for myself essentially um narrowing down who my ideal customer is and then instead of reaching that person by accident occasionally and making a sale i i would like to be able to very intentionally reach that person and you know make a sale a majority of the time instead of just hoping and praying um, not that I'll stop praying, but, you know. He brought over these two guys because they like to sheath so much. So now you have three steady customers. Well, good for you. Um... You know, sometimes it feels like I see, like, other people who who have been doing it shorter than me. Um, I've been seeing a lot of those people on Instagram who like have done it shorter, who are, who are, haven't been doing a lot of the work for as long and they're already more, more successful than I am, you know? And I feel like that's all of a sudden happened so much that I'm just being like tested by God 
Like, will I keep going, or will I, you know, will I can compare myself to others too much? And so I'm trying to not do that. But yeah, so, um, doing a lot of work on just like having better systems in place to find the customer that I actually am making this stuff for and communicating to them better through, through certain kinds of pictures and, and text and video and whatnot. And being able to sell more. So that was. I always take the opportunity of um, of going on vacation to do a lot of thinking. Um. Because it's a great time when I'm, yeah, don't even compare, I ignore everyone and everything, just keep, and just march my own drums. There isn't a secret, you just keep putting yourself out there. Yep, it's just, it's just a matter of time. Um, what was I going to say? Um... Well, I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I don't know what I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> uh Yeah. Yeah, I mean I've been doing this for I've been in the business for three years. Um I've been doing leather work for six years. Um It always feels like I'm like just around the corner, you know? But like it's felt like that for like two years. Um And I think one of the biggest things is that I just wasn't I just wasn't like clear on you know who I'm trying to sell to and like really my brand identity I did the rebrand and really short all that up because cash and card leather company was a fucking terrible name <laughs> I'll be the first to say it that was a terrible name Arangela is so much better um, and so yeah, I'm just, just things I'm thinking about and doing, um, so like I, I just made a belt today for a guy, uh, for one of my friends. In fact, actually I need to take a picture of that and post it on Instagram. You know, why don't I do that real quick? Um, and the the brass knuckles guy is giving me uh, advice on because he's very successful in the in the craft space. Um, now let's see here.
Okay, I'm for reference, I'm just taking a picture or a couple of pictures of this. Um, and posting it on Instagram real quick. actually stamp so I do custom things like customized um, things actually I really like this belt because I used the live edge of the um, of the piece I was cutting from so I do initials so the guy's name is Corey Kohler which just sounds like a freaking comic book name so I've got that cool like vintage num uh, number and letter set, so I do CK, and then I stamp the size on there, so 38 to 40, which is really just 39, but, um, so I stamp that on there, and so I, I, I do that little custom stuff, um, and I realize that I don't need to sell a thousand, you know, like, I mean, if I sold one of these every day, every day of the month, I would be swimming in in money, <laughs> to be honest. So, like, and I can make one of these, you know, if I don't have the camera on, one of these takes me, like, 45 minutes or 30 minutes to make, which is great. And there's ways I know I can um, speed it up even more with certain tools and then drop the price even more. Um... Uh, okay, what was I going to say? I don't know. The marketplace has quite a few people shopping on it. I put a sheath up I made and the guy ditched up, ditched me on. Oh, I haven't sold that. would have sold three other things and met these three guys. I've only had the listing up for about eight days. Hmm. What am I, what am I on? We got two more grits of sandpaper to do on this side. So we're up to 320 grit. It's feeling very, very smooth, very, very nice. Um, I'm just going to make my Instagram post real quick for that. Just give me a mo. Um, oh, I didn't, oh my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to take a picture of the customized stuff. And 
and then Zhilogo, which I have imprinted on the back. It's pretty interesting. Okay. Just Quickly, um, just finished up this order for boy at Okay. All right, sorry for that. Tuh. Busted you for uh for the old pot symbol, eh? Those little buggers. <laughs> okay, we're gonna continue sanding. Alright, then I'll use my uh, flashlight on my other phone to show you how freaking shiny this is. This is light glass, which is great. It feels like glass. I cannot feel the leather at all on the edges, which is exactly what I want. We're up, yeah, we got two more, oof, six. I've got a dinner reservation at seven o'clock, <laughs> so I better, better, uh, I gotta go get dressed. Okay, I think, we, I think we're gonna finish up with this grid of sandpaper. I did not realize it was already 6.10. And honestly, you don't even need to sand that much at the higher grits. Because you're essentially just polishing at that point. Okay, we're gonna brush it down. We're gonna do this last layer of finish and then I'm gonna have to speedily get ready for this dinner. Going to wildfire, which I'm pretty excited for. I haven't had a steak. I used to, when my, when I could afford it, <laughs> uh, I, I, I kind of stick to like, roughly stick to the carnivore diet. It just works for me. Um, and so I was eating a steak every day. It was great um, when I could afford it. But as with any kind of more risky thing, sometimes your finances are down, sometimes they're up. So I've been eating ground beef instead lately and uh, definitely missing the steak. So I'm pretty excited to, to eat a steak tonight. It's my older brother's birthday. And tomorrow we're going to finish up the edge work on here. And then uh, I think 
we might make a little other bag because um, we're gonna wait until you know obviously we can't sew this until I get the thread in the mail and so in the meantime I'm gonna just do other projects and we're gonna eventually we'll come back to this whenever I get the thread and we'll finish this up and I can actually the same person that I made the belt for is my photography friend and he's gonna be taking pictures so um, I'll be able to send this over to him He's gonna take some pics of it because he's a he's a really good photographer. Okay, it's feeling really good. Okay, I'll show you where it's at. I got warned that I will lose my account to Marketplace. Thank you. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but Nicola, why not open a shop workshop in your city? Um, it's more so money. I have been thinking about doing like a pop up shop. So I've learned recently that something that you can do is um, is you can ask another business let's say there's some business that is kind of in the realm of of the stuff that I uh, that I do like where it would attract similar customers or whatever you know I can either set up a stand inside their store and have my stuff laid out and then they get a percentage of the sales Let's say like a 15%, whatever. Um, or if they're closed at certain hours during the day, I can use their retail space and have my own little retail space that I have to be able to take down every day. And I can use their space. I don't have to get um, a retail space. I don't have to pay the rent. I don't have to do all that, which I don't have money for. But I can set up and... Um, so I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. Um, and I think I, I have always wanted to do a brick and mortar store and in, in my community. Um, cause I think that, that people really go wild when they actually see the stuff and hold it in their hands. Um, it's just a lot harder to get noticed online. And I know there are people with money who, who like style and, and like nice things in this town and in a few towns over. Um, so I, I, I want to look into that more and see if there's some kind of pop-up shop thing I could do and have a couple of spots that I do maybe a couple times a week. It'd also get me out of the house, to be honest. Um, because one thing I tend to be very isolated because I'm, I do this alone. Um, so it, it would give me a good excuse to meet new people and and whatnot. So, yes, I do need to find find a girlfriend and wife. Um, I have a friend that does craft booth event at events. He does well and sells a lot of little things. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I do events like that. I do craft shows. Um, I'm I'm looking to do one or two in April. Actually, I'm waiting for a certain place to get back to me, and I can maybe do one of theirs because it was actually the first one that I ever did a few years ago. Um, and it and it was like the best market I've ever done. Um, what's up, Embrace? Um, so yeah, I need to just set, I need to set up a few 
a few different things. Um, obviously, during the winter time, the markets are kind of dead because of because they're cold. Um, but. Yeah, so, um, markets are coming back up. Sorry, my brain just, like, turned off for a second. Markets are coming back up, and so I should be able to um, do some markets and make some sales that way. I'm going to make, like, smaller entry-level things, like coasters, that I could sell a lot of for, like, 25 bucks, you know? Um... Seventy-five here today. Damn, nice. Um, so yeah, okay. I'm gonna shut up. Uh, I need to go get ready for for my dinner. So thank you so much for for uh, stopping by, and uh, we're gonna be doing this the same time tomorrow night, five p.m. Central Standard Time. And I will be looking into all of those things. I'm I'm trying to work in more like. Uh, more of those non-in-the-shop things into my day so that I actually am able to handle everything at the same time. So, who knows? Maybe I'll have more to say about it tomorrow. Progress update. But yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Thanks for watching.